guys welcome to today's video i am here today with another haul video i know i do a lot of haul videos um but i very 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 rarely do haul videos where i have bought the stuff myself a lot of the hauls are sponsored and today i am here with a haul where nothing is sponsored and i'm actually really excited because i work really hard for my cash and the fact that I now make enough to be able to treat myself to some nice things, it just brings me so much joy. Sorry, but there's been breaking news. What? A polywag appeared. Uh-oh. As you guys know, I clean out my closet all the time. And the only items that stay are the more expensive items that I have bought and that I really love and that I do wear. So I have gotten rid of all the crap in my closet um, and now I'm filling up with good quality things that I will keep for a longer time. First thing is this bra. Yay! Boobs! I love this bra. Very nice. I also got two other bras from Twilfit. Uh, second one is this one. Pink. Very pretty. And I got a, finally got a second um, Calvin Klein top because they are so comfortable. I live in these things and I wore it for our po Pokemon hunt today, so it's kind of sweaty. Um, but I have a black one and now I have a gray one. I love them. Next, let's go through the things I ordered online. First thing is this River Island top. That's just a jeans blue kind of uh, top that says Los Angeles. And it's very comfortable, very nice. The material is really thick, which is nice. It's like, it's a little bit heavier material rather than super floppy. So really, really like this. Next, I got this um, shirt from Ralph Lauren and it's a um, navy, is it navy blue? I think this is navy blue with a little purple horse on it. Polo Ralph Lauren, very nice. Does anyone else hate the new Ralph Lauren shirts where the horse is like this big. It's fucking terrible. Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren and it's a pretty standard button-down shirt. It's very very nice anyway. Very fitted, nice, pretty, beautiful. Love it. And last but not least, in the ordering pile I have House of Dagmar, which is a Swedish brand, and it's really really nice. Uh, beige shirt. I love this color. Is it beige? Is it camel? Does it have a green tint to it? I don't know, but it's so nice. I think this color on me just looks really nice. Um, it goes with my hair, it goes with my skin. I don't know. It looks a little bit like all of me is just beige, but I do really like it. It's very stylish, minimalistic, beautiful, great quality obsessed with this shirt. Another shirt I got was this from Ralph Lauren as well. It's just a gray top. Um, I'm obsessed with gray. I've told you before, I think. Um, I just love it a lot. It has a really nice cut in the bottom, um, which is really flattering. It has a tiny horse on the side, not the huge horse on the front. V-neck, beautiful, simple, risky when it's warm out, but whatever. I don't care. I love it. And I tried two gray shirts and I couldn't pick, so I had to get both. And I was standing there for the longest time, like, do I need two gray shirts? Uh, and then I was like, fuck it, I'll just get two gray shirts. And the second one is from Acne Studios, which is also Swedish, I believe. It's very different from this one because this is kind of stretchy, v-neck, light gray. This is dark gray, a little bit more boxy in the cut. It's not fitted the same way. So it has a boxier look, it's dark grey and it's not as stretchy as this one. So I decided that I do need two grey shirts. I don't know. You probably don't agree. Or maybe you do. I don't know. I just love both of them so much and I thought, why not just freaking get two grey shirts? This is a beautiful, beautiful Gantt shirt. It's difficult to explain in video because you can't feel it, but it is a regular red t-shirt, but the material, it's so heavy and I love it. It's so soft, so heavy, and it's just such a nice fit, so stretchy. It has a tiny little Gantt um, brand name logo in the corner of the shirt down at the bottom, and I love it. I could just not, not, I could not, not buy it. 
when I saw it and tried it on. So I absolutely, absolutely love this shirt. Also from Gantt, I finally got a more casual button-down, like business casual shirt. Because um, I have one from Philippa Co since earlier that's like white and blue striped, but it's a, the fabric is so nice, like fine, that it's more dressy than casual. And I finally got a more casual button-down shirt. Um, looks like this. It's a little bit wrinkly, <laughs> don't mind that. Um, and it has a little Gantt logo up there, and it's just a blue, uh, very nice shirt that I can wear without feeling overdressed um, when it's casual, casual lunch time or casual dinner time or whatever, and I just want to look nice but not be overdressed. Um, and I absolutely love this shirt. And then I have two things that I got from my mom, actually, that we didn't buy, like, on Monday or whatever. Makeup glass figurine things from Costa Buda, uh, a Swedish brand. And these come in many different colors and, sh like, sizes. A lot of people have, like, really huge ones. But I got two really beautiful smaller ones that I really, really love. Lipstick and a nail polish. And they have this uh, really cute pink color. This one has the pink color underneath, so you can just see it when it's standing. And I think they're just the most beautiful little, like, um, I don't know, decorations that you can have, like on your makeup table or anywhere, really. I just think they look really, really nice. And last but not least, on the shopping front, this will be a little bit difficult to show you guys, but my favorite brand of all time, Philippa Co. Obsessed, I want everything from their shop. But now, I'm going to two weddings this summer, uh, both of them in August, one in England and one in Malmö, and I need something to wear. And I'm not gonna get one dress for every wedding, I just need one wedding dress. Um, and I found it at Philippa Coa, and it needs some accessories, it needs a belt and it needs shoes and some like jewelry and whatever to dress it up because it's very plain. But I love it, I just love it. Gorgeous blue color and people who know anything about colors would know what this shade is called. I have no idea if it's called anything special. I think it's blue, <laughs> um, a little darker blue. And it goes about just past my knees, I have, I think, I'm not sure. I think it goes just past my knees. And it has this beautiful halter neck, I would call it. Is that, is this a halter neck? I think it is. Um, and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I think it's perfect for a wedding. I don't like being super dressed up. Um, so this is the perfect amount of dressed up for me. Especially if you just add a nice belt and some nice shoes. I am good to go. I hope you guys liked the haul. Swedish word of the day is bag. It's Swedish word for, or shopping bag, like that you get in a shop. Swedish word for shopping bag is kasse or påse. They're kind of different, but kind of the same. Kasse and påse. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below to keep up to date on everything that I do. Until next time, have a super duper good one. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.